in the kitchen with the kitchen lobster wrap. I can't find my wrap. I can't find my wrap and the baby wants to be held and Okay, y'all, I am back. <laughs> Lawrence said he's eating his breakfast. Hold on. Lawrence eating quesadillas from yesterday. But I'm about to try to cook real quick. The baby wants to be helped. Like I tell y'all, as always, I got some turkey chops in here that I was just cleaning. So I'm about to get these. Mommy, I'm going to eat too big for I think Dad doing it it is turkey chops. So I'm about to get these seasoned and then um I'm just gonna I'm not gonna fry them or anything. I'm just gonna like I don't know what is it called, like saute them or whatever. On the stove. I should air fry them, make it make my life real easy. I don't know, we're gonna have this. My son has been wanting that like crab macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna do that that or um make some rice and broccoli that's it easy quick dinner the kids have activities later so we need to eat right now hold on hold on so right now it's like 3 45 we get this done take like 15 to 20 minutes and then we will move on hmm? all right so we got the turkey chops here i'm going to just season these things very quickly. I need to really dry them a little bit more. Hold on. I'm trying to do this quick, so this is not the the most thorough showing of the turkey chops, but turkey chops. Mommy, I'd be paying for this one. Okay. Is the quesadilla good, Lawrence? Well, better than one of your company. Hmm? What? You making a mess? No. <laughs> I'm making a whole meatball. You're making a whole meatball? Oops. You look like I sick. Mmm. You making um, a meatball out of a quesadilla? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. know if that's a thing big boy all right girl again protecting my peace for so long a little too good now I'm so low watching reruns of the same shows almost everybody I'm a no show even with green lights I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody has to let go of the ego? Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating, I feel no good Not living life like I know I could Like I know I could like I In the kitchen with the kitchen lobster Uh-huh I'm just doing a quick Turkey chop. Oh, there. Never mind. Get it. Let me show y'all the, the um, macaroni and cheese. I feel like us as parents, we go all the way out the way. Like, if I make macaroni and cheese, I want to make it, you know, the noodles. I want to cut up the cheese. I want to put all the things in it. The butter. You know, the things. We make it macaroni. My son, let me show y'all what he wants. He's been begging for this for days. Back four rooms in the store. <laughs> he wants this. Cheese club macaroni and cheese. <laughs> so he's gonna get that. Wait, he needs six cups of water, milk, and margarine yeah. or butter. So this is what we're gonna do today for the kids. Um, they'll enjoy that. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. There is some macaroni cheese in there, maybe. That's for you. Shoot, maybe I can just. They I can froze it for you. I saw that. I don't even want to serve one. I just took it out. I guess I could do greens, a turkey chop, mac and the, the other macaroni and cheese. 
trying to get this. Yeah, he trying mm. to get this. Mm hmm. Giddy doom, giddy doom. But yeah, I can't cook this with her on me though. Although I think that, you know, this is convenient as far as like if I want to season it, I'm going to have to put her down. What if the grease start popping on my baby? What if the grease start popping on my baby? Let me put her down, y'all. Oh, I was going to make crab legs for me, but I don't feel like it. I know, that was your lunch. You got, still got to eat dinner. This is probably going to pop a little bit. I didn't complete. Hold on, Lawrence. That wasn't dinner. It was lunch. I didn't completely, um, wait a second, Lawrence. I didn't completely dry these turkey chops, so I'm hoping that they don't pop too much when I put them in this oil. I just put like a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Probably gonna cook about three or four. Okay, that did good. It didn't pop too much. Let me show y'all. So we have this here. Put that right there. I will try to squeeze one more in there. But no, there's only three left, so I'll cook three and three. So I'll let these cook on each side for about three to four minutes, and that's that. Done. I'm not making any gravy or anything with it. That's just, we just gonna have them like that. The kids will probably put like hot sauce or barbecue sauce on them or something. And that's that. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put everything in this kitchen. Cause like I told y'all, I didn't organize yet, so. I'm still trying to figure my way around it and see like what works best where because right now I hope y'all can hear me we're like cutting stuff in the background right now I put the cups and stuff on this side and season is over here let me show y'all so this is the stove right not the broccoli one but I put the cups the cups are here in this cabinet and then we have the stove here and we have like seasonings and stuff over here which is fine when you think about it, like, okay, just put that. But really, if you need a cup, right? If you need a cup, that means you'll probably get something to drink. But the, the um, refrigerator is over here. So I think I'm gonna put some cups over here, actually. So just trying to work out like those type of things and um, see where I want everything to go. But yeah, let me find a pot for this macaroni and cheese. It says boil six cups of water, stir in the pasta, boil for seven to 10 minutes. So just cook the pasta, drain that, rinse it, return the pasta to the pot, add the butter and this. Oh, that's easy enough. Pretty much cook the pasta, add the butter in the, um, that packet. I want to get some new pots, but as of right now, we are going to use this one that we have. And then how much water did I need? They say six cups of water. That's a lot. I'm going to just add enough water to boil this, to boil this pasta. Hopefully the six cups. Maybe I should really follow a little bit of I'm going to get a cup. My lips are dry. My lips are dry. Mom Ninja? Yeah. Why do you want to call me Mom Ninja? My kids have been asking me, do y'all kids want to call y'all something other than mom? Like the last few days, my daughter and my son both want to call me something other than mom. And I'm not really sure why. It's, it's, it's I don't understand that. I've never, 
I've never wanted to call my parents anything other than mom and dad. So I don't know. I really don't know. Wait, little baby. They're looking good. I just put them over. Okay. They're looking good. I just put them over. Here we go. I really need to cover it. Oh, little baby. Gotta get used to recording out in public. But anyway, we're in Hobby Lobby right now. I'm looking for some stuff for the kitchen. Here, put it down. So, looking for some stuff for the kitchen. I found this little circular caddy. It's like a rotating, rotating caddy. So I'm gonna put like. I have one already I'm gonna use for like medicine so I can just you know put the medicine in there kind of rotate it I have one that I want to use for like just different sauces um so it'll be easy to see and find so they have three of them I think I'm gonna get three of them today and we'll do that they have this one just I'm just gonna get three of them the three that they have here and we'll see how that they're $4.99 so we'll go with that we don't need that. Yes, we do. We do. We do. We do. All right, look, we, we, we do. Also, see these. For five dollars. I can't take them apart. Oh wait, there we go. Five dollars. I don't exactly know how I would use these yet, so I kind of don't want to get it, but I know I can use them somewhere. Mm -hmm. What do I do? What do I do? I need something for under the sink. We got those, and we use those for our season. Yeah, but I don't like that for season. I'm getting something else for the season. Okay, mama, hold on. Mommy, we need this. We need this for here. Huh? Oh, that's cute. That's nice. We need what like that? How much is that? Oh, yeah. $3.99. She would like this. I think I should get this for Leah. Yeah. Logan? Okay. Mm. I should get this for Leah. Let's yeah. See. That's calm. It's calm. All right, Leah, Lawrence picked this out for you. All right, I'm gonna keep looking for some storage stuff. All right, I just bought this from Marshalls for, I think it was like $12.99 or $13.99, something. But here at Hobby Lobby, come on, Zoom. It's $9.99 for this milk and beverage carton. And I just plan to like put like, you know, infuse water or if I make like some Kool-Aid or something, I'll put it in there. And then I bought some of these bins to just like store, organize the pantry. What else did I see here? This is cute. It's bigger than the one I have already. $8.99, not bad. I think about where I can use that one. But yeah, they have a lot of the same things that Marshall has for a few dollars cheaper. I need one of these. I don't need a bigger one. Let me keep looking. Buy's house had one of these. <laughs> Maybe it was just mine. Like the back in the day solid bowl. That's cute. I should get it, but <sighs> let's stick to the storage stuff for right now. Not the decorative pieces, the storage. I'm try trying to stay on task. I need one like that size. I want to put it in like the kitchen. And then like, I don't know, either black, but these are all too small, or like this color, like a rust or something that looks a little vintage. I don't want it to look like perfect. 
I'm going for something that's like worn. I don't know, I like these, but they're all too small. I want something like big for the kitchen island. They have a bunch of faces, but they're all too small for me, except for this one, but I don't, I don't love it. I don't love it for $80. For $35.99, I would be sold. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this area is kind of coming to completion. Hold up, I'm trying to zoom out. Kind of complete, oh, that's far as it go, jeez. All right, so this area here, like the little nook. So we built the arch here, added the light under here, and then this backsplash type area went with the, um, the line wash that we used in the bathroom, because we had some left over at this point in the reno renovation trying to use what we have and you know make it work so um that's what we did on the backsplash and then uh added the same counters because this area is right next to the kitchen so we have the same counters that we have in the kitchen and then we went with a black cabinet at the bottom instead of doing the same as the um the kitchen like that brown finished we went black here just for a little contrast and I wanted this area to like kind of be its own area if that makes sense but but still tie in with the rest of the home so that's what's done here and it's just three three shaker style thin shaker style cabinets and we're gonna go black on black so let me see the uh, hardware so that's this here it's the same from the kitchen so we can have some continuity. It's the same from the kitchen, but it's just black. And then that's, that's just gonna go here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that'll go here like that. Black on black, just make it look kind of sleek. And then I just want this area simple. So that's what that would be. Keep that there. And then I told you the light was added. So let me just cut this light on so you can kind of see it with the light. So I just think this would look really nice at night or just, you know, its own little area. I want it to look clean. And you see this when you're coming down the steps. Let me go up the step a little bit. So like you can see this as you're coming down the step. So I just want this to always be like a, a clean area. So I'll probably end up doing like a, a vase right here, like a big vase. Some like flowers or like the branches, some greenery. Oh, yeah. And then, um, Kind of decorate over here. I don't know if I'm gonna go with books, a candle. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but something simple, not too much. This right here, we did add electrical. I can't open this. Ouch! Open that drawer. Let me try to open. I know, but hold on. I'm trying to open it without because there's no handle on it, so it's kind of hard to open. Um, so we did add like electrical, so it'll be the charging station. Like the kids will put their tablets in here or um, ouch, charge your phone or whatever the case is, but I like that option. So that will be that there. And then down here, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to store yet, but just more storage. You can never have enough storage. So that is the plan for this area. I think it turned out well. So that's what we're going, that's what, that's what it's looking like for right now. I'll show y'all once I find like a, um, a vase. You know what? Let me show I did have... Hold on one second. I saw this vase. I'm trying to use what I have, y'all. I'm trying to use what I have. So we had this vase already in the house. My husband found this at... Was it Goodwill a little while ago? It was at Goodwill, but obviously this color wouldn't look right here. But I was thinking I can just like spray paint it. Put a matte black finish on it. Yeah, like spray paint it black. And then just still have the greenery coming out. I think that would look nice. But I also feel like this may be a little too small for this area. I have another vase. Let me go grab it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, Derek, you want to take the camera? You want to say what you want, sir? While I go grab the vase? I just want it. Like, put your design on it. I ain't got to put my design on it. <laughs> hold up. I just feel like this, this stuff could have been pre done. You said this clock what? I feel like, I, like I'm on a clock. Oh my God. All right, so my other option, y'all, don't look at me in the camera. I, I literally, like, kind of just woke up. That's why I wasn't on the video. But I do want to show y'all the other vase 
that we had at the house. I feel like something bigger like this, a little bit more substantial, will kind of look better in the area. And I was also spray paint this also. That wouldn't stay that color. And I kind of need something this size, but like not with the wide, like not, not the wide top. If you top. go with this, like I say, you just have like a little floating shelf right off here. And you just got nothing all the way across. Kind of I was even weird. thinking like a nice family picture. Home. I was if even thinking, home, even if even if you went family picture in the back, you go long flowers, you go little shallow shelf a little bit over here where you can put a candle or something. Mm, that's a maybe. little stagger and, and it gives it more. I just don't. I get what you're saying, but I don't. Y'all, I'm just saying. It's, it's like I don't try. Anyway, y'all. So. But I'm brain fine. I like this size, but this this the top part of this vase is too wide. I need something that's um a little smaller. I say we I like a know, little neck. I don't, I don't think we go dramatic over there. I'm not trying to go dramatic. I, I think it is. I think with this, like it's, it's a dramatic thing because with this being so big, it's more of a dramatic look. But I don't know, y'all. Once I figure out exactly, what, maybe I'll hit like a store. Probably not today, but go out and look for some different bases. But that's the plan for right now. This area is kind of completed for the most part. Still gotta do like some touch up paint and stuff like that. Um, finish up like the baseboards and stuff, but for the most part, this area is done. Um, yeah, I just gotta decorate it. So that's that. It's coming along. I can't find my wrap. I can't find my wrap, and the baby wants to be held, and I want to wipe down these, um, this cabinet. So it was just installed. I think I showed y'all in the other clip, but let me see if I can show y'all real quick. So put the um the handles on them. I don't know if you can tell because it's all black. Should be able to see it though. Yep, but you can see like the fingerprints and stuff on the, the cabinet. So I just want to wipe it down real quick. This little baby wants to be held. But you know what? I'm going to put her down real quick just so I can wipe this. starting to make some progress. I have areas that I can decorate. I, after we gotta re, do another coat of white paint and finish the base, baseboard. But after that, or really even before that, I can decorate this area, like up here. Yep. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Making the house feel like a home, finally. It's been long enough. Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so out Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody has to let go Of the ego Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating right. and I so don't know looks a lot now We just need a, a outlet cover right there. I would like to get one. I don't know. Do they make outlet covers that you can paint? So we get, excuse me, have it the same color as the backsplash so it's not sticking out. I wasn't too concerned with it being there. We was going to move it like to this wall here, like over here on this wall. But I said I plan on having like a base or something there. So it's probably going to cover it. And I, honestly, I just didn't want to take up too much time worried about that outlet cover. So I just said leave it. But yeah. I'm liking the black on black. But as y'all can tell, I have to go. Because little baby wants to be held. Alright, so I just grabbed a painting that I already had here. And I grabbed the um this planter or base, not planter. 
this vase from out the bathroom, and then this candle that I was actually just gifted yesterday. So that's what I put in this section right here, just to see how it looks. I think the um, picture looks nice. It's just a little big for the area. I don't think I wanted to take up the whole area like that. Maybe just a little smaller. Then I was also considering maybe putting like a mirror there, but I don't know. I think a mirror may be nice actually. You can kind of when you come down the steps, check yourself out, see what's going on. But we'll see. I'm gonna play with it. I'm play around with it. I may grab the mirror from out the bathroom just to see how that looks. But I'm just putting out different ideas. But I do like how the black base looks. I just want it to be larger. Like imagine it taking up more space and the um stems. I gotta find some stems um, just going up higher. I may need to go over. My mom has a tree at her house. I can go and take some tree branches from off of there. But I, I don't want just the branch, honestly. I don't think, I can play around with it and see how it looks. But I don't think I want, ouch, I don't think I want just the branch. I think I want, um, ow, my chest is hurting. One second, ouch. The joys of, of breastfeeding. But, um, hold on. My phone was ringing. So, like I was saying, I, I think I want some greenery. I don't want it to just be like the brown stems, but I'm gonna play around with it. If I can find some, just to see how it would look. But yeah, I like how that looks so far. I'm really loving it. I think I'm gonna like it even more at night. I'll have to show y'all how it looks at night. 